Are you kidding me? Is it possible that we're going to get a Bronco Raptor? I don't know, but these new photos look pretty promising. I'm pretty stoked. Welcome back to Real Steel Cars, and we have more Bronco spy shots. This looks like a whole totally different trim than what we've seen in the past. Obviously, with it getting closer to spring, which is when the Bronco is supposed to be revealed, we're not sure if it's going to be the New York Auto Show or the LA Auto Show. Some people are hinting more along the lines of New York, but we'll see. Um, but we're going to start getting more and more photos and more and more information as we get closer to that time frame. Um, so as I'm staring here at the screen, we have all new photos of the Bronco, this time on much beefier tires and what looks to be uh, much bigger fender flares. So if you take a look at the photo, obviously there's huge camouflaging everywhere. They have this pillowy soft top on it so you don't actually see what the top looks like. So it's heavily camouflaged, but it's pretty obvious we have huge off-road tires. Now more specifically, 315 70 17 tires. That should sound familiar because that's exactly what's on the F-150 Raptor. I don't know if maybe this is going to be a Bronco Raptor trim, or maybe this is just going to be the FX4 trim. I don't know. But there is a lot of hints and clues here in this picture that I want to bring to your attention. First off being, obviously, the tire size. Secondly, I want you to look close at the fenders. It looks to me, now throw your opinion in here too, because you know it is heavily camouflaged. It could just be tricks on my eyes here. It looks like there is a little more of a flare out on the fenders than previous photos. Now I'll throw you up a picture real quick of a previous photo that we've had with a much smaller 255 tire um, on the prototype here. But then we have this one with what looks to be a more flared out fender. So it looks like this could be a whole totally different trim and not just a different wheel and tire. That being said, I think this is going to be the more aggressive off-road package that we've been wanting. We haven't seen it up till this point because we've been getting the uh, lower trim level. Obviously, I think there's going to be multiple trim levels to this Bronco. Probably, you know, like the F-150, you get the XL, XLT, Lariat, all that stuff. And I think you're going to get all those different types of trim levels with this Bronco as well. Now, several things to point out about this photo. One, we've already addressed the tires. Two, I want you to take a look at the frame rails. There is rock sliders on this trim package. That was not on previous photos. So, this tells me they are going hardcore off-road with this. You're not going to put rock sliders on a factory vehicle that they don't plan on going hardcore off-roading with. Now, I know so many of you have said, let's not call it a hardcore off-roader because it's got IFS. Look, I understand everyone wants that solid axle, but just because it has a solid axle does not mean it's not a hardcore off-roader. The Raptor has IFS and it has proven time and time again to be just as capable as the Jeep Wrangler, just in a much grander scale. Yeah, I know the Raptor is supposed to be more of a Baja racer, high speed across terrain, but I don't see the Jeep Wrangler doing that because it has a solid axle. Now, the, the IFS in Newark, well, you know what? I'm getting sidetracked. So with the rock sliders, they're obviously testing it for rock crawling or whatever else. Uh, otherwise, they wouldn't put it there. There'd be no reason to put rock sliders on it. But it's there. That tells me everything I need to know. It also looks like it's on a lifted suspension, which is the only way you're going to get this size tire on this vehicle. Previously, there was a 255 tire on the other prototype that we've seen in the past, and it didn't have what looked to be enough wheel oil clearance to jump up to a 315. Essentially, a 315 7017 is a 35 inch tire. You're not going to fit that on what we had seen previously to this. So, obviously, the suspension is taller. We have a much beefier tire. We have fender flares. We have rock sliders. This seems to be the off road Bronco we've been hoping for. 
I'm super excited about this. This looks great. Another thing to look into, if you look at the grill, you can obviously see those round halo headlights that we've seen in previous pictures. Now there was a leaked photo uh, a few weeks back that showed what is presumed to be the headlight they're gonna use in the Bronco. So this clearly shows that to be the case. So please share your opinions on this new photo. I am super excited about it. I think this is exactly, so far, what I've been hoping for anyway. It looks the part. It seems like they are definitely going hardcore off-road with this, and I am I could not be happier. Oh, one more thing I want to point out before I get sidetracked and forget. I want you to look at where this mirror is mounted. It's not mounted on the door. It's mounted on what looks to be the pillar which just further confirms to me that this door is going to be fully removable. Now, obviously, there's been rumors of that for the longest time of this being a removable door, a removable roof, and everything else. But if they're going to put this on the pillar as opposed to the door, that just confirms to me that door is coming off. All right, so now we've covered the photos. There are a couple other things I wanted to address. Now, whether this is going to be a Raptor version or if this is the FX4 version, Obviously, this is definitely the trim package that you're going to want to get if you want to go off-roading. Um, the IFS is going to be the touchy subject that I'm going to bring up because I know so many have said, oh, if it doesn't have a solid axle, it's not a real Bronco. It's not a real off-roader. Well, tell that to the person who built the Raptor because the Raptor is the off-road king to many people. I mean... To many magazines, journalists, everyone who's ever driven this Raptor knows that it is an off-road monster. Yeah, it's built to do Baja racing, high-speed terrains, and all that other stuff. But the hash shafts on the front of the Raptor are beefy and are strong, so it's more than capable of doing a little bit of crawling. Now, on the flip side of that coin, okay, the Jeep Wrangler has a solid axle, so it you know will do fine with the crawling but it can't do the high-speed terrain. So you have a vehicle on either side of the fence. Neither is perfect, but both do everything well. The Raptor, high-speed, has lockers, it crawls, it does everything you need it to do, as does the Wrangler. It just does it in a smaller package. This Bronco is going to be what I believe to be a smaller variation of the Raptor, in this trim level anyway. I think it's going to be a direct competitor for the Wrangler. I really do. I mean, by looking at this, there's no way you can say it's not. So, obviously now everything else is up to you. What do you think? Is it going to be a competitor? Is it what you thought it was going to be? Clearly, we don't know what it's going to look like yet. We have an idea of its size now. We have an idea of the tire size that they're going to put on it. We also have uh, an idea now that the doors are pretty much going to come off. Everything else is up in the air. We're not too sure the engine. We do know it's on the Ranger platform, so I'm sure the 2.3 is going to be the standard equipment. Could it possibly get a 2.7 in this upgraded trim package? Possibly, maybe. That would be pretty cool. So there's a lot to know, uh, but there's a lot that's been revealed, I think, in this, this set of photos that we've just gotten. And that's all the information I've got on this. I'm... I'm more than satisfied, so hopefully you are. I think it's a, it's definitely a step forward, and it's definitely what we needed. So that's all I'm going to give you on the full-size Bronco. So my mini news for today, we're going to hit some mini news in the form of the baby Bronco, which is now officially called the Maverick. I'm not so sure how I feel about that. The Maverick is a small car they had back in the 70s. They're, I know, I guess, I don't want to call it a muscle car because it's, I don't know what it was. But anyway, pony car, whatever. But anyway, it, it was a car. And now they're going to bring the name back and use it on the baby Bronco or the smaller variation Bronco, whatever you want to call it. But now it's officially called the Maverick. So I'm not too sure about the name. Um, Bronco Sport probably would have been better or something like that. But I'm not too crazy on the fact that now they're calling it the... Uh, Ford Maverick. I mean, it's, I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. Right now, I'm not too crazy on it. We'll just have to see what happens. Let me know what you think of it. 
But that's all the Bronco news I got. So make sure you drop your comments down below what you think of everything. Make sure you drop a like on the video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. I do greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time.